This legislation would codify a three-year pilot program that the Department of Education implemented that is set to expire later this year. We have seen tremendous success of the program in the 12 districts across the state, including four from York County, Central York, Dallastown, Red Lion, and Southern York County school districts. Yesterday, I met with school directors and leaders from these school districts who expressed their strong support to see this program continue. Senate Bill 440 opens this option to all school districts to apply and utilize flexible instruction days. And I must note that this is not a mandate for public schools, but just another option to meet students' educational needs. This legislation will allow schools, if they so choose, to use up to five flexible instructional days a year in the event of a school closure. While we may think that this only applies to inclement weather, it is so much more than that. Schools can close for a variety of reasons, including mold problems, HVAC system problems, flu outbreaks, even threats made against buildings, and as we have seen uh, recently, a manhunt uh, in the Poconos where police searched for Eric Freen, uh, who was convicted of killing a police officer. It paralyzed those school districts. This legislation would provide for the continuity of education for students during such circumstances. And I want to thank Senators Amen and Dinaman, who chaired our Senate Education Committee and Senators Brown and Hughes of our Appropriations Committee for seeing the merits of this legislation. And I respectfully ask my colleagues to join me in support of this critical tool for flexibility for school districts in our Commonwealth to meet the educational needs of our students.